Okay, this is the solution for chapter 11. <clears throat> um, so in my path manager, I, uh, or let's see, in path planning chapter 11, I have it set to one, so it's gonna call waypoint paths, and then in the path manager, I'm gonna use the line, path manager line first. And so when I run this in the, uh, in the, uh, with the guidance model, um, it's going to, um, basically it's going to overshoot um, the waypoint path and come back around. So this one is running quite slow. So the turning radius is about 200 meters. Um, <clears throat> I'll let it switch one more time. Okay, so it comes back onto the path. Of course, there's no um, avoidance of obstacles or anything at this point. Uh, and if I come back and switch it to, um, instead of the path manager line, I use the Phillips instead, then <clears throat> we get something where it's smoothing through these lines using fillets. The red is what it's currently following, and the blue is the waypoint path. So we switch to a circular fillet. And it'll continue to do this for a little bit. Okay, and then <clears throat> if I um, if I use the actual uh, model with the full controlled uh, UAV autopilot, or you know the um, oh I've got the uh, uh, the estimated states going on here. It's uh, quite a bit slower. <laughs> the original one's slow for some reason. <clears throat> but I'll let it go through a transition here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop it and uh, come back here now on my path manager or path planner chapter 11 and let it run with the Dubin's uh, path. Um, and so now it's trying to go through these waypoints, but hitting um, these angles uh, specifying the uh, the Dubin's path. So if I come back and run again the um, the guidance model. See, uh, plans now Dubin's path going through the waypoints. This one was, I think, 45 degrees, and I had the different angles there. And with the Dubin's path, again, you get switching to the circular orbit and then back to the straight line path. 
and I'll just let this run for a minute. Uh, and it's right now running painfully slow. You get the, uh, the same behavior if we go over and use the full controlled UAV. It's just things are running even slower. And I'll let it run for a minute and then stop it. Oh, by the way, I do have a wind from the north at uh, five or uh, fifteen meters per second. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 